హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు అనదర్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ కోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ అనదర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విచ్ కెన్ బీ ఆస్క్డ్ ఇన్ ద జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అండ్ యూ షుడ్ బీ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ సో ద క్విక్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ షుడ్ బి ద డ్రాబ్యాక్ ఆఫ్ హ్యావింగ్ ప్రైవేట్ మెథడ్స్ ఇన్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ ఫంక్షన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ప్రైవేట్ వేరియబుల్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ప్రైవేట్ మెథడ్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ ఆర్ డిక్లేరింగ్ విత్ ద వర్క్ ఈ వర్డ్ ఇన్సైడ్ అ ఫంక్షన్ ఆర్ ఇన్సైడ్ అ class those all are actually the private variables so here it is known as a private function private anonymous function we have already declared and the drawback of declaring a private function is whenever you create so now you are actually creating the employee uh, function right this is the anonymous function which is uh, assigned to the employee so this is a employee function expression so whenever you are going to create an object of employee function like employee 1 employee 2 employee 3 employee 4 then in each and every function this private function gets copied so you can see uh, you are actually copying this function in each and every object so that is the drawback instead of that that you create either a prototype uh, on top of it so prototype are actually shared memory and which can be shared between uh, among the multiple objects okay the closers uh, the always favorite questions uh, i mean this is one of my favorite question so how the closers works so closers are actually uh, closers is actually some kind of a persistence mechanism using which some function is able to capture the values from the out, outside scope okay so consider this is our uh, local inside inner function where we are passing 5 as an argument this is the outer function where we are passing 7 as an argument okay so you call the outer function then outer function has returned an outer function will return the inner function right so even if the outer function has already returned this is a self invoking function so you are not going to invoke it this is a if you block i i f you block immediately invoking function so outer function is invoking himself inner function is also invoking himself so whenever you are invoking the outer function the inner function will be able to capture this outer argument okay so in this scope the inner inner function will have the outside variable inside the scope of the inner function so it is actually persisting the the variables which are defined outside the scope of a function which has already been returned okay so closer function has its uh, different definition for me it is just a way of persisting some variable inside the function and those variables are coming from the outside of that function scope i mean either global scope or either the parent function scope okay so there there may be another question about the curry function so curry function is actually a function which returns another function okay so you see console dot log multiply 2 if you just talk about this highlighted portion it is going to return another function if you try to write another function multiply 2 and 3 then it is also going to return another function right so this is actually a partial invocation we are making so when you call multiply with passing some argument it will return this function there you can again pass the argument y then z right so this function definition can be written something like this your outer function is returning some another function another function is returning some another function finally x x star y star z so here it is doing a multiplication okay so this is actually a partial method invocation and this is how you can define these multiplication methods what is the way using which you can uh, empty the array there are different like simple example just uh, create another array and just make the array list empty whenever you do the console dot log the output is still this right so if array list is this right you assign this array list to some uh, another uh, array list and then make yourself uh, to to empty right so you you will become empty array but you still your reference is assigned to another array okay so even if you do console dot log uh, another array list it will still having a uh, another values otherwise uh, what else we can do we can use a splice method 
So splice is a JavaScript array method which is used to create a duplicate with uh, which which are not having a reference to each other. But similarly, that that same method can be used to make an empty array. So array list array list is this. In the array list, we are doing a splice zero to the length array list dot length. So so it will empty the array by setting the length to zero. So splice is an, uh, one of the important uh, function in the array dot prototype, which can also create a duplicate array, which can also create an empty array for you. So here, what we did, we assigned the reference of array list to another uh, another array list, and then we just create the empty array. Okay, how to check if object is an array or not? Like I have given you array. If you do the type of the array, it will give you the object, right? So here uh, we wanted to def define that okay, the type of that object is of array or not, because array is also an object. So how can we check that object is representing some array? So array dot is array is one of the method which we can use in JavaScript, or we can call this object dot prototype. There is a two string method when you do a call onto the array list, it should return the the object array. Then it's an array. Otherwise, it's not an array. So this is object array. It should return when you do this. Otherwise, array dot is array you can use. What should be the output of this function? Uh, here we are just uh, writing the function expression and we are immediately invoking it. Uh, and we are deleting the x argument and returning that. So what do you think? It will return zero for me because we can do a delete operation only on the object properties, not on the variables in the JavaScript. So it, it does it, it will do nothing. You will just return x and x will be zero. What will be the output of this code? So in array, what you did, you deleted the third property. 0, 1, 2, 3. So you deleted this particular property. So what do you think? What will be the, the length? It's still length will still be uh, 5. But at the third position, what you will get, you will get undefined in the array. Okay. So whenever you do the delete, delete should be happen only from the object, not from the array. Whenever you do the delete, it put undefined there and your length is still the same. Okay. So let's connect in the next video then.